It's confirmed. The GoPro Hero 9 has officially been announced and we've got our pre-orders in. So we are so excited for this new camera. That's right. And it looks solid. So we're going to go over what was confirmed. It looks like most of the things that we listed as rumors last video were correct. Yes. And then we're also going to talk about some of the new mods and what that means. And so how would the GoPro be for a vlogging camera? Because that's one of the main reasons why we use GoPro. All right. So let's go through what is important about this release overall and that is we have now a new 5k resolution which um, what is really important is that you can actually scale down and you get um, better capabilities in other resolutions as well and that also means the um, narrow mode in the 4k resolution is now available which means you get to zoom quite a bit more something like um, i don't know it gets closer to a 35 you know that's no longer a wide angle so that's really cool 4k from a gopro and not in a wide angle. That's pretty good stuff. Yes. And the other really cool part is that front facing screen. So it looks to be pretty big, actually. And um, you're still going to be able to use that display mod uh, more on that later on. But there's now a screen so that it will really help with vlogging. That's right. And it also appears from what we've seen in the test footage people have posted that they did make really good improvements in the hyper smooth. It's become even better. The image quality, I don't think has gone up even though it has a new sensor. At least the megabits per second remain the same in video and that's about a hundred at um, the high setting and that really is really what determines you know 4k plus the megabits is what makes your video look good or bad so that didn't go uh, any higher but there are other features which are getting better and actually, along the lines of image quality, even though the video may not be better, the photo is better. The photos are a lot bigger. So instead of being 12 megapixels, they're now, I think, more than 20 megapixels. And you can shoot in JPEG and RAW. So if you like to use the GoPro to take still photos, then that should be a really big improvement. Mm -hmm. and that is true. And um, now it is almost as high as our Fuji cameras. So if it comes down to size, that sensor is pretty big. We did take a look at some test footage to see whether this new sensor helped in low light. I don't think it did very much from the look of it. And it isn't any bigger actually, which is what counts in that case. And so it doesn't appear that it did um, very much for low light shooting. But it remains to be seen whether the new technology in there actually made low light shooting less shaky, which was really the big problem. There's so much motion blur in the low light that it just becomes unusable. But since we're talking about low light, one thing that we've really started to do, which really helps with low light shooting, is using an external light. So there's a lot of different brands out there, but GoPro themselves has a light mod that you can also use with the Hero 9 or just any of the other GoPros. And they are, in fact, pushing the mods uh, hard with this release, not just the core body. And the mods, we were questioning last time, will they stick with them? It appears, yes, they are sticking with them. But since this GoPro body is much bigger, the, you have to now buy a brand new media mod. And you can use the old light and the old display mod, which hasn't come out truly. But you have to get yet another $80 media mod to fit the bigger body. And that new one... Uh, when you think about it, I am a fan of the media mode idea because it combines the audio jack with the cage. And if you're going to vlog, you need both anyway. So it actually isn't a bad price at $80, but we have to buy another one now. Yeah, so if you go to GoPro's website, there's now a GoPro Hero 9 media mod. So you have to make sure to get that media mod that fits the 9. The Hero 8 media mod also only fits the Hero 8. So these mods are coming really specific to the camera, which sucks because that kind of implies that every time there's a new camera, you may have to buy a new mod, but hopefully that's not going to be the case. But we did have a discussion earlier about, you know, the cost of the media mod being $80. And at first I was like, man, that's kind of expensive. But when you think about it, if you want to add an external microphone, you're other option is to buy like the $50 GoPro uh, mic jack, which is already pretty expensive. Then you have to buy a cage on top of that and then a microphone. So arguably $80 is actually a fair price to get all of that. It is. It's just what we have to know. So we were recording and of course the GoPro like craps out like mid recording. So we have to take the whole thing apart now to try to reset it and try to see what exactly the GoPro even filmed. These bugs, these bugs better go away. This is super mm, annoying. We got the bandage there. Uh, repairing your file. Oh no. Please Maybe we'll just start repair. over. We had to switch the GoPro while making a video about GoPro because it failed like we always complain it does. So, so bad. So this is one thing. 
hopefully the Hero 9 doesn't have bugs like this because this Hero 8 has so many bugs and it'll like stop mid-recording and like mess up your files. It doesn't turn on constantly. So that really better be fixed in this new Hero 9. So the biggest reason they had to make the body bigger is because they put in a bigger battery, which is very welcome. And that's one of the selling points they're advertising on the website, 33% more battery power. Yes, and another thing that we're really looking forward to is Time Warp 3.0. So Time Warp uh, 2.0 in the Hero 8 was already really great. It's like a, a hyperlapse feature so that it's really great for walking or hiking. You can just speed up your whole uh, journey. And Time Warp 2.0 in the Hero 8 block was great because you could pause. And so if you're like hyperlapsing and you can pause and just kind of pan or do something like that, but it was lacking sound. So now in the Hero 9, when you do that pause, you can record sound. So that's going to be really helpful for a lot of our hiking blogs that we do. Yeah, hiking and walking tours are very much improved this way. The other feature which we didn't know about and we didn't talk about in the last video was the horizon leveling. So this feature is actually very very important and we'll explain why. Uh, normally when you're getting the GoPro around it doesn't really feature level so you don't know whether it's leveled properly and almost always it is not and really that makes GoPro footage suffer from Crooked Horizon a lot and it looks like amateur that way. However now they have stabilized it and evened it out so well. People rotate it even up to like 45 degrees and it keeps the horizon stable which means that you just turn that thing on and you forget about it and you no longer have to worry whether your horizon is even anymore. This is amazing. And you don't have to spend extra time in post-production uh, correcting those levels either because that's what I end up doing for a lot of our GoPro videos. So that will really save you some time in post as well. It will because if you think about it, you have to chop a lot and then mm -hmm. even out each segment it's, to it's do that. It's very time consuming. So yeah. That's so nice. they have done us a huge favor just for that feature alone. Mm -hmm. I want this new GoPro. But when you do the math, everything is improving on it. Just oh, about everything. And one other thing that we've all been asking for is that that lens in the front is now removable because on this Hero eight it's not it's like welded into the bat and into the whole camera and so gopro listened to us and is giving us back the removable lens which is great so that we can swap it out in case you know you scratch the lens you can also swap it out for nd filters so we can now use a microphone with the nd filters which we could not do with the hero eight uh, the only bummer about that is that you have to buy brand new nd filters to fit the hero nine because of course they're a different size than the hero seven and together with that uh, the gopro lens when you remove it it actually allows attaching another one which GoPro has used and now he's made another what they call something like a super max resolution and it's like a really wide angle and wide angle is easier to stabilize because of optics you know the distance is shorter and so on so what you end up having they say is the most stable footage ever made by anybody and I believe it because knowing hyper smooth and knowing that a wider angle will make it more stable you're probably talking about rock solid footage and on top of that it automatically evens the horizon so it's like magic yeah, so that's an extra mod that GoPro announced. It's available for pre-order, and it's a hundred dollars though, so it is a little bit more expensive. But I think that lens just pops on top too, so you don't have to take the lens off. So that could be really handy for yeah when you're outside and you really want to capture more of your scenery. Yeah, so when you sum it up, a very very strong release. Everything's improving on the GoPro, and though that comes with a higher price, and some people are questioning whether you want to spend almost $500 and yet you got to buy mods on top if you want to extend it properly. So what yeah. do you think? Yeah, so the new price is now about $450, which is $100 more than what GoPros typically cost. And you know, if you look at uh, previous releases before the Hero 8, they always had like the Hero, the Heroes, um, Hero 7 Silver, the White, they had like different versions that came at different price points. And at this point, it's only one GoPro and it's coming at a really premium cost now. Uh, ours was $450 plus $50 in tax. It's essentially a $500 camera, which is a lot more money compared to before. But GoPro is pushing their GoPro Plus subscription. So you can still get the GoPro for $350, but you have to pay for that ongoing subscription on top of it. Personally, I think that um, the higher quality, higher price is a good thing and I don't like the old models that there were a bunch of them. I'm the kind of consumer, I want the best, they'll pay the price and no questions asked. So I like that they've done that. But some people actually prefer low cost, so we'll see how the market overall takes that. 
And the other thing,、um, based on the reactions that I was reading on Twitter, a lot of people, and I, I would say that GoPro kind of perpetuates this with the way that they do their commercials and their release. They kind of make GoPro look like it's only for action. So it's only for if you ski, if you only if you do extreme sports. And so a lot of people are like, oh, I have a GoPro, but I only use it like twice a year for when I go on vacation. But the thing is, the more you use GoPro, especially if you've gotten a Hero 7 or a Hero 8, the quality has gotten so good that you don't have to be an extreme sports enthusiast. To use this camera, you can use it for vlogging, you can use it for cooking, you can use it for all kinds of different things. And so, I think if people realize that you can use GoPro for more than just action sports, then that really justifies the price more. Yeah, and there's another stigma that people think it has that GoPro look associated with it, which was for a long time warped and the colors may not have been the best. However, at the 8 and now the 9, you have a lot of focal lengths. And they remove the warp, and you also have a very beautiful color profile, which I think is actually one of their biggest strengths right now compared to their other action camera rivals. So I actually think the GoPro has dramatically increased the versatility and the quality of its image, and it no longer suffers from the things that people may have thought it does. And at this point, it, it's a very legitimate camera. I think a filmmaker can easily just put a GoPro in their pocket and make an entire movie at this point. That's right. So, yeah, if you look at GoPro's being a, as an all around camera, which these days it is, then I think $500 is a totally fair price. But we'd like to hear from you in the comments below. Tell us what you think about this new GoPro. Are you planning to buy it? We've already put our pre order in, so we'll be doing a review once we get our hands on it. That's right, yeah. The other thing to mention about this release is that yes, they walked out of some of the things they did in the Hero 8. They kept up with other ideas like the media mode. However, the new changes now means that yet again they changed the body, which means that you have to rebuy some accessories.、Um, so it's kind of in, if it there exactly. How much the users will like that because if you're the kind that tries to upgrade and stay on top of everything like we do, it gets annoying every time you gotta buy another cage, another body,、um, to adapt around, right? So we will spend the money, we will review it and all that. However, I think the average user will be irritated by that. You know, if you look at GoPro's previous releases before the Hero 8, they tended to, you know,、uh, have a body that was、uh, usable for about three generations. So if you got like the Hero 5, 6, 7, they were all about the same size, so you could use the same accessories. And so my theory is that GoPro intended to do that with the Hero 8, but they had other competitors come out, like the DJI Osmo Action, the Insta 361R. So they kind of felt the need to upgrade the camera faster because if you look at other releases, Pieces too. Like, I, I think the Hero 10 was supposed to be this Hero 9 with all, this, like, a new,、um, all these new features. And I think that they just felt the need to push that out sooner, but that just you know, leaves us in the dark if we invested in the Hero 8 and these media mods and all these accessories, which are now useless. Yeah, so the 8 kind of becomes a past occurrence. You know, it, it's not very logical to ever buy it again it, because it, nothing that you buy for it will be transferable. I hope this stabilizes at 9 so that all the accessories we do buy this time, again, this is the third time、yes. since the 7 that we're buying all the accessories.、Yep. And then we don't want to do that for the 10 and the 11 and so、uh-huh. on. We need stability at this point. We're very happy with the feature set. We need the stability and the bugs fixed. And that will make us very happy GoPro users.